In their victory over the Hornets last night, the Pacers showed that sometimes you need both execution and luck to get a win. Looking at the game's final six possessions, it becomes clear that the Pacers made about as many mistakes as they possibly could and still win. First, we see they leave Jarrett Jack wide open for a three. It's a good drive and kick by Chris Paul, and Jack does miss, but this is not ideal. It's on the other end of the court where we see the most egregious failure to execute, however. The Indy half-court offense often fails to create a good shot, so this is not altogether surprising, particularly since Roy Herbert had been relegated to the bench after having one of the worst games of his career. Down one with 90 seconds to play, the best shot they can find is a forced Danny Granger fadeaway. Danny seems all too willing to settle for this type of shots, especially late nowadays, and it's only a Jeff Foster key rebound that keeps the possession alive. Unfortunately, they don't do anything else with it. A series of screens and a dribble handoff gets Danny a mismatch on Nemeka Okafor. He dribbles to the right side, and Foster, after committing a good, even if illegal, pick, seems to be wide open at the top of the key. Two quick swing passes here would probably get a James Posey three in the corner. Not doing that, or trying to push Omeka Okafor off the dribble, Danny instead settles again for a tough, tough shot. The subsequent defensive possession was probably the most frustrating of the night. The Pacers do almost everything right here, playing great defense, keeping one of the game's best penetrators from getting by. They force him into a bad shot. They just can't finish the play with a rebound. Posey foul makes it a three-point play, putting New Orleans up two with just 30 seconds left. For the Pacers, execution and luck would converge, however. On this play, we see wonderful drive by Brandon Rush, kick out to Danny, swing to the corner for to Posey for three. That's really what matters. You get yourself a good shot, and you have to rely on your guys to make it. I think most coaches would be happy with that. James Posey three in the corner at the end of a game situation. It's not that the earlier looks by Danny were horrible. He can make those shots. It's just they're not preferred. This is a much higher percentage look. Indy follows up this gem of possession with more lackluster defense. TJ Ford just gets annihilated by this David West screen, forcing Jeff Foster to stick with CB3 until he can recover. By then it's too late. David West is wide open. They call him the 17-foot assassin. Pacers give him a wide open 17 footer. New Orleans goes up one. Looks like they may have the game won. Should be noted that Darren Collison is over on the sideline with an injury. But in the end, sometimes none of this matters. Come up big late, everyone will forget everything else you did. The Pacers run a great play out of the timeout. Danny Granger, wide open, very makeable shot for him. Somehow it doesn't go down. Mike Dunleavy is there to save the day. I think Jeff Foster would have tipped it in if Mike didn't. We'll see on the replay. When a game ends like this, it's okay to forgive the past sins on the previous plays. But let's not forget, this is a game that the Pacers almost gave away. Still, coming off a rough stretch like they've had so far in December, I think every Pacers fan and every Pacers employee will take this one.